Now in this question then we're given that f of x equals x cubed plus x squared plus 44x plus 150 and also that f of x equals x plus 3 multiplied by this quadratic factor x squared plus ax plus b and we're asked to find out what a and b are. And the way I would do this is to say that uh, I can get uh, the values of x squared plus ax plus b just by simply dividing f of x by x plus 3. So I would start off by saying x squared plus ax plus b is equal to f of x divided by x plus 3. And so what this is going to mean is that I need to do some algebraic long division here. x plus 3 then into x cubed plus x squared plus 44x plus 150. And I'm expecting it to go in exactly. So I'm assuming you're familiar with algebraic long division. If not, just go on my website and there's plenty of tutorials there on this. So in the usual way, what do you multiply x by to get x cubed? Well, it's got to be x squared. So you can do x squared times x plus 3, and that's going to give us x cubed plus 3x squared. Now, just subtract to work out what the remainder will be. x cubed minus x cubed, that's 0. x squared minus plus 3x squared is minus 2x squared. Bring down the next term, 44x, and start all over again. What do we multiply x by to give minus 2x squared? Well, it's going to be minus 2x. Multiply this with x plus 3, and you've got minus 2x squared, and then minus 6x. Again, subtract to work out what that remainder is. We get 0 here, and then you've got 44x minus minus 6x, so that's going to be a total of 50x. Bring down the next term, 150. And as expected, what do we multiply x plus 3 by to give us this? It's an exact value. It's going to be 50 because that leaves us with 50x plus 150. And when you end up subtracting this, you end up with 0. All right, so that's good. So what we've got then is that x squared plus ax plus b is identical then to x squared minus 2x plus 50. And we can compare this quite easily. We can see that therefore a must be equal to the coefficient of x, which is minus 2, and clearly b is equal to the 50. There you go. That's how I would do it anyway.